Hi thinkers, welcome to the artificial intelligence course on thinkxacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to understand the Minimax algorithm. In the AI course, we have already covered a lot of algorithms like best first search, hill climbing, uh, steepest ascent, hill climbing. All of these algorithms are just some simple algorithms. But from now on, we are going to move with the game playing algorithms, right? So this is the first algorithm that we are going to discuss in game playing. So I will uh, give you all the important things about this whole algorithm. We will discuss some important formulas, some conditions, and I have some good examples to explain you in uh, the most simplistic way I can uh, all this, uh, these important concepts. So let's first start with the game playing algorithm. So what is game playing? That's the first question. In game playing, we have more than one player who, and they are going to decide how to play the game, right? For example, consider a game of chess. In game of chess, we have two players. One is going to make a move and the second player, which is the opponent, is going to make a move uh, according to the moves of the first one, right? So both of the players want to win the game. So we will have to write an algorithm uh, to un for the AI algorithm. We will have to see how Minimax algorithm uh, will be able to help the AI agent win the gameplay, right? So uh, let's see with a very simple example here. So here I have a person, Magnus Carlsen, and here we have an AI agent, right? So what I want is I want uh, that these two players are playing chess. So let's call that this person is X and this is Y, right? So now let's say the first person, which is the Magnus Carlsen, is going to make the first uh, move in the game of chess, right? So the, now the game has started and uh, the person X or Magnus Carlsen has made the first move, right? So about the first move, uh, this person is going to make sure that this move will uh, make sure that his probability of winning the game is maximized, right? So he's going to make a move, the first move, right? Since the AI agent has not made any move, the game has only started. Uh, this person will try to make a move that according to him is the best possible move, right? So this is the best move strategy also. This algorithm follows the best move strategy. Now, after this uh, person has, uh, person X has made, made a move, which according to him is the best move. According to him, he has uh, maximized his utility to win the game. But when the turn comes to the AI, right? We know that in chess, one person plays the move, then the opponent plays the move, right? So now the AI agent will make the second move. Now, when the AI wants to make a second move, he will have to consider that this person, Magnus Carlsen, is uh, actually trying to make a move which, according to him, is the maximum probability to win the game, right? So for X, it is the maximum probability, the maximum gain, but for the AI agent, it is the maximum loss that is going to cause, right? So this person, Magnus Carlsen, when he made the first move, he made it thinking that this is going to cause maximum loss to this AI agent. Now this AI agent will try to minimize the effort or the utility or you can say the probability of the, uh, this person Magnus Carlsen winning the game. This will go on and on recursively and the AI agent will find the best path, the, me the best moves to choose, right? So in every path, Magnus Carlsen will try to make a move to maximize his utility to win the game. And every time AI agent is going to make a move to reduce or to minimize his effort. The name of the algorithm is Minimax. So in this uh, Minimax algorithm, we the AI agent will try to minimize the maximum loss. Right? So here you can see we have minimax and this is the formula which we will discuss later in the tutorial. So minimax means minimizing the maximum loss. Right? There is second version also which is maximin. 
we will discuss that maximin is minimum gain right so we will discuss about maximin and mini minimax later on but here it should be clear that minimax tries to minimize the maximum loss which is generated by this person x right so let's understand this clearly with the help of this graph so this is a tree basically and we call this tree as a game tree all right so in this game tree you can see there are leaf nodes right so h i j k l m n o these are the leaf nodes so now you can see there are some values assigned at the leaf nodes now what will happen is this is a game tree so in game tree you can clearly see here that 7 is the maximum value so someone can argue with you that if uh, o has the maximum value we can just take the path from a to c then g and then o right which will give you the maximum uh, of uh, the maximum utility but here we have a little bit of twist because the uh, the person cannot decide to take a path according to him because the opponent is also playing an important role so the ai uh, ai agent cannot just choose this path because the opponent is also there the decision made by the opponent also plays an important role that's why this algorithm is a game playing algorithm right so uh, let's understand this when uh, the game has started the max is always going to the person x will always going to maximize his utility to win the game right that is clear so at the first uh, place you can see that this is a state space representation so at space a i'm going to write max here right so the first place goes to max so because the max is going to make the first move why the first move is assigned as max because in the starting only we have we are saying this that the person is going who is going to make the first move is going to make sure that it is the maximum probability of him winning the game right so now the second step is that in this one b and c out of b and c now since max has performed his move now the ai agent will have to perform the second move which is men right so the second decision is taken by the men right since the opponent plays a important role in game playing we cannot initially decide which path is the best because this is more of a decision based uh, algorithm right it is a uh, minimax algorithm is also the decision rule right we will have to make decisions uh, considering the opponent uh, decisions also right considering the opponent's move now here the men will ma uh, make his move then again the max will make a move and then finally we get these uh, states all right so one important point about this algorithm is that it is a backtracking or a recursive algorithm what is a backtracking algorithm the backtracking algorithm is very simple it moves from the root node till the leaf node right so from here it will go here to all the leaf nodes and then it will go back again right so when it is going back we say that they are backtracking and when they are going back they are going to calculate the values of min and max so this will be able to help the ai agent decide which path is best according to the moves made by magnus carlson right all right so since the algorithm is going to backtrack we will have to start from the leaf nodes right so let's consider uh, the max one here i'm just going to remove this arrow since max is going to uh, find out the value here right we are using the backtracking technique let's consider the node d d can reach minus 1 and 4 now since it is max it is going to pick up the maximum value so here out of h and i it will pick up 4 right so here i am going to just write with a red marker that it is going to pick up 
all right we're going to use blue marker for a uh, max one so here it is going to pick up four and the path is from d to i now let's consider e also because in all these uh, steps the max is going to make the move so if the max is at e what is going to be uh, the next move two or six since max will choose the maximum value it will choose k which is six right so this is the path that is chosen similarly out of minus three and minus five which one is greater minus three is greater right minus three is greater than minus five so here we have minus three here now we have the last one zero and seven seven is greater than zero so this is what max is going to choose right so after a uh, backtracking right first we will make sure you we will use recursion to reach the last elements and after we have reached the last elements we are just going to do the backtracking we have done the first backtracking and we have the values of max here which is like this one now let's calculate for the min right now what min wants to do is min wants to minimize the uh, utility which was produced by max right so max is going to is a person who is going to maximize the probability of winning the game and minimize will say that okay you are the person you want to you are trying to increase your chances of winning so i will make a move uh, to decrease your chances of uh, winning right so which is very important part in game play the opponent makes a move and we will have to make sure that we will minimize his efforts to win the game so now here let's consider b b will say uh, at b node the min will say that we have 4 and 6 so if i will choose 6 then max is going to get the benefit so what the min will do it will choose the minimum value right which is 4 which is this path now here also at c the min is going to choose the minimum value out of these two which is minus 3 and the path goes from here to here now since the min right min is basically our ai agent now if the min has minimized the efforts of the max now what max wants to do is max is also a player so the max player wants to uh, will say that okay now the min has reduced my efforts but still what i can do is i can choose the maximum of these two right so at max a we will choose maximum out of these two which is 4 here right so i will write 4 here and the path goes from a to b so this happens in a game playing algorithm there is a person x which is our magnus carlsen he will pick up the first move and when he will pick the first move the ai agent will try to minimize his efforts by choosing the minimum values out of these this will go on and on if we have uh, a big here i have just considered this is just an example if you consider a scenario a real scenario of chess this particular algorithm will fail because this minimax algorithm has a time complexity of o big o of b raised to the power d b is the branching factor and d is the depth right so in case of chess we have a lot of uh, moves and in that case the game tree is very large it's so large that if you will consider this time complexity the time complexity is going to increase exponentially right so in that case we are going to optimize the minimax algorithm using alpha beta pruning right we will see that in the next tutorial so make sure to subscribe our channel so that whenever i release this video you will be able to see uh, you will be able to get the notification of that video so here we have discussed the minimax algorithm right which is we are going to the ai agent is going to minimize the max one right now there are one another case right which is the maximin now consider uh, there are two types of people in this world one will try to win the game by lowering the efforts of the other 
the second person the second type of people are those who are going to increase their efforts to win the game right we have studied the mini max which tries to minimize the maximum loss which this magnus carlson is going to create right so magnus carlson will increase his efforts and the ai agent will try to minimize that that's why it is known as mini max minimize the maximum loss then we have the maximin which what it tries to do is it tries to maximize the minimum gain right so if this ai agent has some gain some minimum gain it is going to maximize it now let's take a look at these two formulas this is the formula of mini max and this one is the formula of uh, maxi min you can clearly see here in mini max we first have min and we are actually calculating the minimum of the maximum loss right so this part is the maximum loss and we are actually calculating the minimum of that here we are trying to do the opposite which is we are trying to minimize the gain right and we are going to sorry maximize this minimum gain right so this is the minimum gain and this is what we are going to maximize right so you can see here in uh, down here we have a of i a of i represents the action which is taken by a player i right in in our case if x has taken an action we are going to represent it using a of x we have a of minus uh, i which represents the action which is taken by the other players except i right so all the other players except uh, x are going to be the opponents so this will represent that we have vi which is the value function for this player and then we have i and minus i i is basically the index of the player of interest the same is conditions are here now let's uh, focus on this very important last condition here and we will wind up with this video this says that v of i is less than equal to u of i what is v of i v of i is maxi min and u of i is mini max right you can see from the formula this is the mini max and this is the maxi min now this condition says that maxi min whenever you are reaching whenever you are the ai agent is taking the approach to calculate the maxi min which is to maximize the minimum gain or if the ai agent chooses this way which is to minimize the maximum loss out of these two strategies the maxi min will always be less than or equal to mini max and you can see clearly here that uh, minimizing the maximum loss is will be greater because the maximum loss is there so you can actually minimize that but if you have very minimum gain maximizing that will be not that easier right so that's why it is less than or equal to in some cases it is observed that when these two are equal so if some ai agent will take uh, these two different approaches and both of them get a sin, uh, equal value which is vi is equals to u of i then we call this condition as a nash equilibrium right so that's all for this tutorial uh, hope you have liked this tutorial if you have liked my efforts make sure to like this video and share it with your friends thanks for watching